Hi, this is Sally from gettingpregnantfast.com with dashes uh, here again um, to help you with your fertility and getting pregnant pregnant more quickly. Um, I thought I would give you a few tips that I think are the best um, and many women have asked me uh, this, the same types of questions over and over again so it's clear to me that um, in general uh, women don't understand their cycles they don't understand when they're ovulating and that is a huge huge key that would probably be number one the number one tip that I would give you would be you've got to know your cycle you you've got to know when you're ovulating um, how long your cycle generally lasts it may be different every month some women's cycles are crazy one month they might be really short they might be really long the next time you need to get to know your cycle this takes two to three months and the best way to do that is uh, basal, body, basal body temperature charting or BBT charting now that won't tell you when you're ovulating before the fact but it will tell you afterward that you you had a temperature spike your temperature went up and that you did in fact ovulate um, and that will help you get to know your cycle of, over a few months hopefully you'll begin to see a pattern you begin to see okay usually I ovulate on day 14 15 16 you know you can it, it's not always day 15 or day 14 um, for every woman uh, some women ovulate on day 20, some ovulate earlier, day 10. Um, I was pretty average myself, but it did vary from maybe 14, day 14 on one month and day 16 on the next month. It would vary between two or three days each month, and I got to know my cycle. Um, I think that's huge, and I'll, I'll go over that in detail on another video. Um, another tip for knowing your cycle would be um, cervical mucus observation. Uh, you need to, that's, that's the fluid that comes out of your vagina um, when you're approaching ovulation. Um, that fluid should be more runny. Um, it isn't always, sometimes you're dry all month long. Some women don't have a whole lot of fluid. You need to get to know your body and if you need to, to supplement or do something uh, to help that then observing your body now um, is the best way to get pregnant more quickly um, another way that another thing that certain women observe is cervical position um, your uterus will will drop down lower um, different times of the month when you're when you're getting ready to ovulate um, and it's it's up higher before that time so, um, and another, I, I didn't use that method, but many women do, and, and it's a great method um, if you feel comfortable using that. Another method that I used was using ovulation predictor test strips, um, and I'll go over that um, again in another video as well in more detail. Um, but those strips are, are very similar to a pregnancy test and they will tell you when your LH or luteni luteinizing hormone is spiking and that will occur um, the spike will occur b between 12 and 36 hours before you actually ovulate so it is an excellent tool so that you and your partner can um, have intercourse in order to um, accelerate your chances of getting pregnant more quickly um, Timing is huge. That is my my very biggest tip uh, that I offer women. Um, timing timing your your uh, intercourse, your baby making, sex is very very important. Um, also, getting your body in in the most healthy state. If you're overweight, lose some weight. It's it's not impossible to get pregnant if you're overweight, but it sure to, it sure will help your chances because being overweight will will get your hormones off uh, you won't feel as good uh, your libido will probably be down a little um, it's it's better for you overall if you're more healthy um, your your whole body system is going to be healthier um, and for the men the the simplest test for fertility is for the male to get his sperm count checked um, if there's a low count or um, 
the, the sperm is low motility or it's, it's not moving fast, it's a good idea to know these things. It's a simple way to know if there's a problem. If there's no problem, then, then great. You can move toward other things. Um, but if there's a problem, you can do certain things. MACA is a great uh, male um, fertility enhancer. Uh, fertile, fertile aid, there's, there's other great supplements for men. Um, having a healthy diet is, an, is another great tip. Just, just overall, don't cut down on fat. That's one thing that I would highly advise. Don't cut down on, on good fats. Uh, your body does need fat, um, and a lot of these low fat, fat diets are are really harming. I'm not saying go and consume a, a, a ton of full fatty foods. Um, I'm not talking about potato chips. I'm not talking about junk food. I'm talking about good, healthy fats in whole milk, um, whole yogurt, um, eating eggs and other uh, healthy foods that will nourish your body and give you energy and um, improve your health overall as well. So just to recap, um, knowing your ovulation timing is crucial, um, getting your health in tip-top shape, exercising, feeling good about yourself, and trying not to stress each month. Um, try to have fun. Um, I know it's hard. Um, I've been there and it's stressful if month after month you are not getting pregnant. Um, it does become more and more stressful, but try to make it fun. Try to, to get to know your cycle and best wishes to you. I'll have more vi videos coming up. Um, hope that helps. Let me know and please visit my site at gettingpregnantfast.com with dashes. Until next time, this is Sally. Bye-bye.